I find a lot of the times when I make a meal and it comes out better than expected, people ask, oh, how did you make that? And I'm like, I really can't be bothered to go back and make a recipe for it. So I'm just going to film more often as I cook, just so you guys can see some of the recipes I make more often and get a few tips, hints, and all of you that follow me should know that I just make it up as I go along. So bear with and enjoy. I've got two mushrooms chopped up. I've got some washed spinach, some chopped onions, some smoked chopped garlic, some fresh thyme. I've got some, I forgot, it's right in front of me and I'm forgetting what it is and we're out of focus. And some scotch bonnet. And I want a really simple meal. Sometimes I just crave something as simple as anything. So we're just keeping it nice and simple and we'll see what we end up with. So first of all, I'm going to chuck in the onions, the thyme, the garlic, and the scotch bonnet. And we're just going to fry this off whilst I decide which direction this is going in. I've put the rice on and I've got plant in an oven roasting, so let's go. I'm using my enamel pot, or cast iron enamel pot. I wanted to swap over to completely in enamel pots because they're meant to be better for you, better for cooking with and yada yada yada. But you also have to maintain them. So I've got ones with enamel on which is easier to look after and low, um, low maintenance. I'm finding they're so much fun to work with so I'm going to invest in some more. I've got like a basic brand from TK Maxx because um, the expensive ones you're paying upwards of 80, 100 pounds, even something like 200, 300 pounds and that's a bit out of my reach so I'll start off small and go from there. Right, I'm just going to fry off the onions. Into the onions I'm going to chuck in some, or sprinkle, I'm going to sprinkle in some garam masala. And with your spices, if you just start playing with them, you'll start learning how to combine them, how you like them and how to get different flavours from the same stuff. So you could put the same ingredients in a meal, but by the different quantities and how you combine them, you can end up with a different meal. have got some paprika here. down a bit. A little hot Caribbean curry powder. And what happens as you go along and you start getting more experience with cooking you can also tell by looking at it how the flavours are working. Like my mum she can cook milk she doesn't have to taste it and it'll always come out nice. Me, I like to taste it all the time unless I can't be bothered. I'm going to add half a vegetable stock cube. As I said, it's a nice, quick, simple meal. I just want a nice plain rice with a bit of flavour on the side, and that's it. So I'm going to chuck in my chopped mushrooms. That's two large mushrooms. And now I'm struggling to speak because of the spices, but we'll get through. I'm going to add a tiny bit more oil. I'm going to throw in a bit of garlic powder. We've got fresh garlic in there, but you get a different flavour from the garlic powder. I'm 
going to add the touch of smoked paprika. And a little hot paprika. The hot one's mixed with cayenne and the smoked one I believe is just smoked. Now you can see it's caught on the bottom a little, that's when it starts to, it's just before burning. So if you let it get too hot it will burn, but this is fine because it's just helping to develop the flavours. I'm going to pop in the tomatoes and that will help lift the spices off the base of the pan. And if you find it's getting too, um, it's cooking too fast, just turn it down. Sorry, it's my neighbours upstairs making noise. And as you can see, the tomatoes are helping to lift the base off. At this stage, you could add coconut milk or water, a bit of tomato. But I'm going to add, I want a little bit of richness there. Oh, sorry. I'm going to add, if you can see it. No, you can't. Some oatly milk. And I've got the oatly cream, but I know I need a little, so I just use the milk in place of the cream. And straight away that just gives us a nice rich sauce and it lifts all of the flavour off the bottom of the pan. So this will end up just being like a spicy garlicky mushroom. And now we're going to turn it on the lowest heat. If your lowest heat is still too much then swap it to a smaller ring. Get the onions off there. I'm going to add a little hot water. And with this, I'm not going to add any salt until the very end. I've got the salt from the stock cube. But I like to add it right at the end, that way you're not adding too much and you only need a little to bring the flavour to what you want it to. So now it's turned down and I'm going to just add on top my washed spinach. And this is such an easy meal that can be prepared, be prepared uh, English, that can be prepared in so many different ways. And you only need to add a little water when you're getting ready to cook this down because it's washed it's also got water on there and it will sting down to practically nothing then we just put our lid on and leave that for a couple minutes and that will sting down halfway through just check it and give it a stir and I'll be back Alright guys, we're going to have a quick check and stir, hopefully I don't steam up the camera. You should be able to hear it steaming away nicely. And there's plenty of moisture down the bottom, all we do is turn it over. And you can see the nice rich sauce underneath. And you can serve this with quinoa, mashed potatoes, whatever grain you fancy. And if you want to buff it up a bit, you can add like roast sweet potatoes or just plain potatoes, butter beans, lentils.
I'm going to add a tiny bit of salt to this. Then I'll taste it and adjust as necessary. If I can get it on the spoon, that is. Good to go. Nice, simple. It's nice, earthy, with a bit of spice in the background. Tomatoes running through it. Oh, it's so caught me tomatoes. But yeah, just a quick, simple meal. I'm going to serve it with rice, plantain, and a little salad. I'll show you off the picture, but yeah, that's just one of my quick meals. Anyhow, guys, I'm off to eat this. So thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Ciao.